Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Hero Brian from Minecraft. So we're going to be drawing this character in a three-quarter position. So we're going to be playing around with 3D perspective in this lesson. So let's start at the very top of our page with a vertical line for the head. Starting at the top, we'll come straight down, down towards the chin. Now from here, I'm going to take these two points and draw two angled lines coming down towards the right. Starting from the top, the top of the head, we're going to come down in an angle towards the opposite side of the head. Now let's take that same line and draw it from the bottom, starting on this corner here down at the same angle. I want to make sure that these are lined up along the side. Now I'm going to connect those two points with a straight line. Now before I draw any detail to the face, let's draw the side profile of the head. So I'm going to take this point and just angle down towards the left. Now this line is going to be shorter than the one on the face side. So we'll come down to right about there. We'll take this point and draw the same length line making sure that they line up along the side. Now let's connect those two points with a straight line. Let's go in and add some detail to the face. So I'm gonna start with the eyebrows first. We're gonna imagine a line cut straight down the middle of the box. Now right here, I'm gonna leave a gap in the center. I'm gonna draw two points, one on either side of center. One on the left, moving over. Now because the angle is coming down this way, I'm gonna draw this point slightly lower. From these two points, I'm gonna curve up and out the bottom edge of the eyebrow. Now from here, I'm gonna angle up and in. Starting on the left, we'll go up with a slight angle. Do the same thing on the right. Now on the inside, I'm just gonna draw two shorter lines coming in. And then we're gonna kick the outside to the inside with a curve. Now let's tuck the eyes in underneath the eyebrow. So from this point here, I'm gonna draw a short straight line coming down, do the same thing on the right. Now this line here should be lower than the one on the left. Now I'm gonna draw the outside bottom edge of the eye. So from this point, I'm gonna angle up and out, following that same angle as we have in the box. Up and out to right about there, do the same thing on the right. Now this one's gonna come down. Now we're gonna pull this straight up underneath the eyebrows. So there's a little bit of an overlap on the bottom corner of the eyebrow. Let's move up and add in the hairline. So above this point in the eyebrow, we're gonna step up, we're gonna draw a straight angled line coming down. Just following that same angle of the box, coming down to there. Now on the ends, I'm just gonna pull a straight line coming down towards the eyebrow. Now we're gonna angle out towards the side of the head. Now just below the eyes, I'm gonna add in the mouth. So we're gonna give them a little bit of a smirk. Starting below the left eye, I'm gonna curve down and over towards the right. On the end here, I'm just gonna draw a little bracket. Now along the bottom here, we're gonna add the five o'clock shadow. So on the left side, we're gonna draw a straight angled line coming down from left to right, just going past the edge of the mouth on both sides. Now we're gonna go straight up with a short line. Now we're gonna go back out with a short line in a slight angle. Now we're going to go back up again. Now we're going to go all the way to the side of the head. Now I want to continue the hairline on the side of the head. So about halfway down this line, I'm going to come down and out with an angle. I'm going to go straight up. Now we're going to come back down again with a short line. Now we're going to come down a little bit lower with a straight line coming down. We're going to angle down and out down again with a straight line. Now we're gonna go all the way down towards the back of the box. Okay, so now that we've drawn the head, let's draw on the front face side of the body. So from this point here, we're gonna step down, draw a point. From this point, we're gonna angle down and out, and we're not gonna go all the way. We're gonna go down to right about there. I wanna bend the body back, so we're gonna take this point here, curve out towards the left, and we're just gonna pull this straight down towards the hip. We do the same thing on the right side. Curving down towards the left, and then down towards the same height. Now from the hips, this is where we split off the legs. From this point here, I'm gonna straighten out the left leg. We're gonna come down at an angle with a straight line, down towards the bottom of the foot. Now from this side, I'm gonna bend the leg. So from here, we're gonna go out in an angle towards the right, 
towards the knee. Now from here, we're gonna go straight down. To right about there. Now at the top of the head, we drew the perspective coming down. From the bottom, we're gonna go upwards. So from this point, we're gonna come down with a slight angle towards the inside of the leg. Now from here, we're gonna go straight up, but I wanna draw on the knee line first. So we're gonna take this line here and just duplicate it from the knee going in. That slight angle. Now we're gonna connect those two points with a straight line coming all the way down. Now from the inside of the knee, we're gonna go up in an angle, follow that same line in towards the middle. To right about there. Now I'm gonna follow this same line coming down on this side. Now I wanna raise this line up so I can create that same angled line that we have on the right. Let's connect those two points with that angled line. I'm gonna go back to the top and draw on the collar. So in the center, we're gonna step down and draw a an short angled line from left to right, leaving the same amount of gap on both sides. From this point, I'm gonna curve up. On the right, we'll curve up. Now we're gonna go out with a short line in that same angle. And then we're gonna curve up towards the top of the body. Now we're gonna move down towards the hips and draw on the bottom edge of the shirt. So these two points are gonna connect, but I'm gonna leave a gap on the right side. Taking this point, we're gonna angle up. Now here we're gonna change the angle of the torn edge here. So from this point, we're gonna angle down. Now we're gonna go up with that same angled line that we have on the side here. Come down. And then we're gonna angle up towards the side of the leg. Now that we have the front edge of the body, I could take this point in the head and just draw an angled line in behind. So take this point, angle in behind the body, creating a little overlap on the top corner of the body. Now before I draw on the side edge of the body, I'm gonna draw in the left arm here. So from this point here, I'm gonna draw an angled line going across. Starting from the top, go over that corner, and then in. I'm gonna draw two angle lines coming down towards the elbow, starting from the outside. Come down. Now from here, I'm gonna draw that same length line. Now let's connect those two points with a straight line. Now from here, I'm gonna bend the arm going over towards the right. So let's take this point here, angle down and in. Take this point, draw that same angled line, the same length. Let's connect those two points with a straight line. Now we're gonna draw on the front face side of the hand. From these corners, we're gonna angle down, following the same angle as we had at the top of the arm. And we'll cap this off with a straight line. Now we can go ahead and draw on the side of the arm. From this corner, I'm gonna angle down and out. Now these two points are gonna to have to merge in towards the center point down here. So let's take this point, we're gonna follow that same angle coming down. Now I don't wanna to go too far because I wanna line up with this bottom corner. This bottom corner is gonna go up with that same angle towards the elbow. Now I'm just gonna add the edge of the shirt. We're gonna take this line, step up, and just duplicate it right up above. Now on the side, we're gonna take this same angle from this point and go all the way to the back of the arm. Now that we have that arm in place, we can draw on the side profile of the body. From this corner of the body, I'm gonna take that same angle and pull this down in behind the arm. And then from the bottom of the foot, we're gonna go up with a slight angle going to the back of the leg. And then from here, we're gonna follow the same line going in behind the arm. Let's draw the inside edge of the right leg. So we're gonna take that same angle from this point. We're gonna go up. I'm gonna follow this all the way up towards the inside of the knee. Going up to right about there. Now we're gonna angle in behind the left leg. Now let's draw on the cuff of the pant. We're gonna take this line, step up, draw that same angle on both legs. Now on the left side, we're gonna go back, follow that same angle. We're gonna leave a little space in the back here for a notch. We go up, and then we'll go and continue to the back of the leg. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side. On the same angle going up, go straight up, then angle back to the back of the leg. And then from the hip, we're gonna continue the shirt going in and behind. So we're gonna take this point, angle up behind the arm. Now we're gonna finish this off by tucking the right arm in behind the body. So right down from the top of the body here, we're gonna angle up and out. Now from these points, I wanna come down. Starting here, we're gonna come down with a slight angle towards the elbow 
on the outside, we'll draw that same length line. Now we're just gonna connect those two points with an angled line going up. From here, I'm gonna bend the arm going out towards the right. From the inside corner of the elbow, we're gonna come out. From the outside, we're gonna draw that same length line. And then we'll cap it off with another straight line. Now let's come down the face side of the arm. So at this point, we're gonna come straight down. On the top, we'll come straight down with that same length line. Connect those two points with that same angle we have above. Now let's go ahead and draw on the inside edge of the arm. And take this point, follow that same angle, going up and then in behind the body. And then from the top corner here, we're gonna follow that same angle in behind the body. Let's draw the edge of the shirt. So we take this line, step up, just duplicate up on top. Now on the inside, this is gonna follow that same angle going out this way. Up, in behind the body, and that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Hero Brian from Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.